Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am the Poverty Princess. I decided to do this video today, Christmas Day, um, later in the afternoon. I guess because I'm sort of cheering myself up by doing it, I guess you could say. Um, my holiday didn't exactly turn out the way I had hoped, and um, I don't know. I guess I just wanted to share with you guys some wonderful memories that I had from many years ago of Christmas's past. I was born in 64, as many of you know, and I grew up during the late 70s, early 80s. It was a wonderful time to grow up. The music was amazing. Life was easier, I think. Everything was just so much cheaper. I remember my grandmother paying like $65 a month rent. $65 a month rent, can you believe that? And having an electric bill of like $7. <laughs> Yeah, right? Wish we could have that kind of perk now. <laughs> no luck. The holidays in my town, and it was a smaller city than what it is now, was so different than holidays now. We didn't have Walmart. We didn't have big chain stores in my town. We had small strip malls, but we didn't have a big mall. We had a Kresge's in the downtown area. We didn't have Kmart. A lot of the shopping was done in the little strip malls. It was done downtown. And our local economy thrived because of that. I remember milk being delivered in glass jars, glass bottles, and a silver can that used to be outside of each apartment. I remember all kind of wonderful TV specials that would be on during the holidays, like right after Thanksgiving they would start playing them on TV, ABC and CBS, NBC, all the animated movies, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, Frosty the Snowman, Santa Claus is Coming to Town, Island of the Misfit Toys. I remember a lot of different like TV shows would have like Christmas specials um, and it was nice. TV time was family time. Holidays were family time. If you didn't have everything you needed by December 24th, 12 noon, you were pretty much out of luck because everything shut down. Stores were closed. As far as I know, restaurants were closed. Obviously, hospitals were open. Um, I don't know about bars, but I think even bars were closed then, too. Essentially, holidays were about family. Thanksgiving, Christmas, Easter was all about family. I remember when I was going to um, uh, a church that I went to for many years, I was born and raised Protestant, and they used to have sign-ups to go Christmas caroling, believe it or not, and they used to go to, like, um, nursing homes and try to cheer, you know, people up in nursing homes. Um, they would go door-to-door. -door. So one year I decided to do it just, just for something different, for the heck of it, and it was like about 14. It was actually fun. Um, it was really cold out, but it was, it was fun. And we were able to go back to the church afterwards and have some hot cocoa and some snacks. And was, it was good. It was fun. Nice. I remember when I was about 15, it had snowed so bad. A few days before Christmas, I literally was sitting on like a three foot high snowbank. There was kids had come through from another patch town um, outside of Hazleton on snowmobiles. 
and I wanted to go for a ride on it. I thought it was cool. And their family had made like a bunch of cookies and hot cocoa and they were just bringing kids back and forth, these two brothers on snowmobiles. It was really cool. I remember my mother looking out the window, I'm gone, wondering where I got to. She thought I went with one of my friends and I came back about an hour and a half later and said to her, no, I went for a ride in a snowmobile. My mother was like, what? <laughs> you know, horrified, but yeah. Um, holidays were just so different. Holidays meant spending time with your family. It didn't mean working and making money for some big box chain store. It wasn't like that. Holidays were so different back then. And now, I mean, like, I feel, I feel bad because the holidays have changed so, so much. The world has changed, too. But the holidays have changed so, so much. It will never ever be the way I remember it, you know? So I'm glad I'm going to have these memories for the rest of my days. There used to be a little hardware store in town that did a beautiful display every year. Trees, beautifully decorated Christmas trees and trains set up. And I used to love to go in there. Every chance I got, if I was out with my mom, my grandmother, my grandfather, I always wanted to stop in there. Would always buy an ornament. And I just love being in the store because I used to tell my family it smelled like Christmas. You might think, well, what does Christmas smell like to a kid? Well, to me, at the time, it was bayberry and hollyberry candles. It was the pine scent for the artificial trees. It was candy canes they would give out to kids. It was just that mixture that smelled like Christmas. Another thing that was nice, you didn't have to go into a whole Christmas shopping because the local banks used to have Christmas clubs. And they used to give you a little book. You'd set up the amount that you wanted to pay each week. They would take the coupon out, stamp the stub, and a year later you would go into your bank when they were ready to be cashed out and you would get a free gift with your Christmas money. That was usually about two weeks before Christmas, like second week of December. And it was nice because as long as you kept up with it throughout, you know, the year, it was a nice way to save up, you know, a couple of hundred dollars to go Christmas shopping. Not maxing out credit cards, not ruining your credit, not, not going broke for the holidays. And a lot of the banks had them. They probably all did, actually. And they used to give you a gift. You know, sometimes it was like a scent of candle for the holidays or a box of candy from uh, a local candy shop that used to make candy locally here in town. Um, well, they still do, but not on the street that they used to be on anymore. They finally sold the building. And it was just nice. They used to also have vacation clubs. Same logic. You could save up money to go on a vacation. I used to save that money up to have to go to church picnics. Used to be church picnic every week during the summer. Every week. One church would have one. Following weekend, another church would have it. You could literally go down one street cross up a block and make your way that week going to the churches around there and then down. Literally, you could go around Hazleton and do that because every week just about some church had a picnic. Carnivals used to run through. We used to have Christmas parades. So many things that made the holidays magical when you were a kid were the norm. And it's just, I guess the main thing was family. Seeing my uncle, seeing my aunts, and my cousins. And that was, that was the best part, I think. Besides the presents, obviously. But being with family. Um, because holidays should be about family. And as I said, 
The world has changed. Times have changed. So while it's nice to see that those older movies are still around, and I remember watching Miracle on 34th Street with my grandmother several times, um, there's some other movies as I got older that I enjoyed watching on the holidays. A Christmas Carol. Um, I could not help but fall in love with Jim Carrey as the Grinch. I mean, he was amazing. And aside from The Mask, like, that is one of his roles that I will always love about him. I mean, he's done a lot of movies I like, but The Grinch, he, he did a good job as the Grinch. He really did. I remember my oldest son really liked The Grinch. And that Christmas, I got him everything Grinch I could find. I got him the movie. I got him um, boxers. I got him a shirt. I got him a pair of pajama pants. Anything I could find Grinch that year for him for Christmas, I did socks. I think I got him Grinch socks, too. And I remember watching, um, I guess they were Hallmark or Life, no, it was probably Lifetime movies. Um, back in the day when I did have cable, a lot of wonderful um, holiday movies. Movies that you actually could sit with your family and watch as a family. <laughs> Over time, um, some newer movies have come out that I identify with the holidays. And uh, one of them, and you may recognize it, is um, Jingle All the Way. Not the second one with Larry the Cable Guy, but the first one with Arnold Schwarzenegger is absolutely hilarious. Um, Arnold Schwarzenegger was funny to no end in that movie. That is a good movie. Uh, another one that I enjoy that came out more recently, Polar Express. Polar Express is a beautiful holiday movie. And most recently, one that I discovered last year that I love. And surprisingly, the person playing Santa does a really good job. Um, Kurt Russell, Christmas Chronicles. And that is on Netflix right now. At first, I remember thinking, mm, Snake Plissken, because you think of him with the patch, the leather pants, this badass guy playing Santa Claus. Well, he's older, and he actually does a pretty cool Santa Claus. So if you haven't watched that movie, honestly, go on Netflix and check it out. It's, it's, it's a wonderful movie. It's about losing your spirit, but getting it back. And um, that seems to be happening more and more. Um, my family played a lot of older Christmas music. Um, some of you obviously will remember Nat King Cole, Chestnuts Roasting on Open Fire. My grandmother liked Eddie Arnold. My mom enjoyed, um, uh, oh, what was, what was his name? Um, Kenny Rogers did some country music, and there was someone, oh, and of course, anything Elvis, anything Elvis. My mother and grandmother loved Elvis, so any Christmas music by Elvis Presley was mm, definitely it. And until the late 70s into the 80s, I still listened to some of these records and introduced some of them to my own kids. Um, the Barking Dogs. I was actually able to find it on YouTube. The Barking Dogs. My grandmother had that record, the, the little 45. <laughs> um, Alvin and the Chipmunks, 
like who could forget Alvin and the Chipmunks? And I want a hippopotamus for Christmas. Bertha Kit, Santa Baby. Play like a lot of good, beautiful Christmas music. Now, in the 80s, some metal bands tried to do Christmas music and no, no. Twisted Sister, yeah, I'm sorry, D. Snyder was meant for screaming, not trying to sing Silver Bells. Axl Rose had a kind of voice to belt out, you know, take me down to Paradise City, but definitely not I'm Dreaming of a White Christmas, you know. But now there was a rocker who did a really cute Christmas tune, which was a B-side. I don't remember what 45 it was, but I do remember his Christmas song was a B-side, and that was Billy Squire. Christmas is a time to say I love you. And that turned out to be like popular I see on YouTube. It comes up a lot every year on the holidays. Annie Lennox. Um, Eurythmics, Eurythmics, Walking in a Winter Wonderland. And then there was Band-Aid. Do they know it's Christmas time? Raising money for starving kids in Africa. The very first Band-Aid, I think that's the one that I will always relate to. There was another group of musicians who did it years later. It's a good song, and I love some of those musicians too, but the original, I think, was the best. We Are the World, with the Jacksons were in it, Michael Jackson. Um, just some amazing holiday music from the time that I grew up. Um, George, Michael, and Wham, Last Christmas. Pretenders, 2,000 Miles. Some songs that I will always listen to because they get me in a holiday spirit even when I may not be feeling so Christmassy, you know? And a classic Christmas song, one that my son's father liked so much. John Lennon. Yoko Ono. Happy Christmas. War is over. And that was one of um, his favorite Christmas songs. Sorry about that, guys. So there, there was just such a big difference in the holidays back when I was younger. And um, it wasn't even about the gifts. Sure, it was great to show your presents off to your cousins and, you know, to your family and let the adults do their thing. And my grandma and her wicked eggnog, which I never got the recipe for, sad to say. I never asked her for a thought to ask her for it. I should have. But, um, I don't know. I think I just wanted to share with you guys some things about the holidays that, when I was growing up, were special. I did get to go on sleigh rides when I was a teenager. Um, there were farms down in the valley that would let you go for um, sleigh rides. So I got to do that with some of my girlfriends back when I was like 16. It was a lot of fun. It was. It was a lot of fun to do that. Things that just are not done now. And it's sad. Like, the commercialism of everything has ruined it. I mean, when I was in Dollar General um, yesterday to get my phone, I did get a new phone because I need a number to apply for a job. Um, 
they already have Valentine's Day stuff out. Like, are you kidding me? God, Christmas isn't even over. You already have Valentine's Day. Like, ugh. everything about the dollar, the dollar, the dollar. Not the dollar for you, the dollar for them. And it's just, I don't know, it's just sad, you know? I didn't have um, an exchange this year of presents because I just, I couldn't afford it. And that did bother me, but it is what it is, you know? And I think of Christmases where, you know, I had so much more and could do so much more. <coughs> and I don't know, you know. I know what the holidays were like when I was little growing up here. I would love to know what holidays were like for some of my subs living in Canada, living in Scotland, over in the UK, you know, like, what do you remember as a child? I remember this clear candy, popcorn balls and oranges in your stockings. I remember coal candy, tinsel on trees, musical lights. Uh, my, my son's father loved his musical lights only problem is mm, they weren't always matching music meaning we would get live trees and the lights on the top part of the tree would be playing one tune and the lights on the other end of the tree would be playing another tune and connected oh my god yeah he loved his musical lights I never got any more after him I just I don't know it was just special I couldn't I couldn't do that again with another person, I guess. I don't know. A special memory, you know? I know that once my grandmother passed away and my grandfather, it seemed that the holidays took a much different turn. Well, with everybody going their own way, having their own families, my cousins and that, I mean, yeah, it's understandable. It would be nice if we were closer. Um, we're all in the same state, but I don't see them very often. And that is the thing about holidays nowadays trying to wrap my mind around how things are now as compared to how they used to be and how I would love them to be well, I guess it's just never going to be the same so, I don't know guys I am just curious what were your favorite holiday movies what were your favorite holiday music what things do you remember growing up around the holidays that made it special and things that you'll always remember, good memories. Let me know in the comment section below guys, which brings me to my final thing. I did not disable the comments on last night's video. I guess someone decided my little Christmas bear was a toy. Which it was not sold in Dollar General as a toy. It was a holiday decoration. But the comments were disabled. I went in and allowed them only for it to revert back. <coughs> I'm hoping that is the reason the comments were disabled. I would hope that they weren't disabled because I wished everyone a happy holiday no matter what people celebrate um, because if that was the case and that was the reason then there's there's a problem there you know I'm not touching on anything religious or anything like that just saying that there is other holidays 
and I try to be respectful and point that out that everyone should have a wonderful holiday no matter how they celebrate it. So guys, I will leave you with the thought that a new year is around the corner. And for some of us who have had not such a good year, um, we probably are looking very anxiously forward to a clean slate, a fresh start, a new year. I know I sure am. Well, guys, I hope this video made you think about some memories, maybe things you did, you and your family when you were growing up, what your town was like, um, music you may have listened to, and just let me know in the comment section below. I would love to know what some of your favorite traditions were, or what was popular in your town, your community, your country. Well guys, if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching. As always, I love the fact that you guys watch and share my videos. I will see you real soon. Take care. Bye.